Hi students, this is Ven Madhav, Zoology Lecturer in Kakatiya Junior College. Today we discuss about the types of flagella. Types of flagella. Okay, first of all, flagella is a locomotor organ flagella is a locomotor organ organ in mastigophorans mastigophorans okay flagella is a locomotor organ in mastigophorans these flagella it is dividing five types based on the lateral appendages arrangements so lateral appendages lateral appendages lateral appendages some flagellas some flagella bears one or two or more rows more rows of lateral lateral hair like hair like fibrils fibrils they are called as lateral appendages some flagella bears one or two or more rows of lateral hairs like fibrils they are called as lateral appendages okay the arrangement of the lateral appendages in the flagella they are dividing five types they are stichonematic stichonematic and the second one is pantonematic and third one is acronematic and fourth one is pantochronematic and fifth one is anematic anematic or simple nematic or simple nematic so the based on the arrangement of the lateral appendages of the flagella they are dividing five types stichonematic pantonematic acronematic pantachronematic and anematic so it is also called as simple nematic so first of all stichonematic the flagella bs only one row of the lateral appendages it is called as stichonematic the flagella bears one row of one row of lateral appendages lateral appendages it is called as stichonematic one row of the lateral appendages it is called as stichonematic examples euglena astasia euglena and astasia so here this is the flagella it is covered with the outer sheath covered with outer sheath these flagella bs single row of lateral appendages 
that is called as trichonematic the flagella bears single row of lateral appendages that is called as trichonematic example euglena and ostacea and second one pantonematic so the flagella bears the flagella bears the flagella bears two or many or two or many rows many rows of lateral appendages lateral appendages that is called as pantonematic okay flagella bears two or many rows of the lateral appendages it is called as pantonematic pantonematic examples examples peronema and monas peronema and monas and next acronematic acronematic flagella doesn't bear any lateral appendages and the terminal naked filament is present that is called as acronematic the flagella the flagella doesn't doesn't has a lateral appendages lateral appendages appendages and the terminal naked filament terminal naked filament is present is present that is called as acronematic examples acronematic chlamydomonas 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 and polytoma chlamydomonas and polytoma next pantachronematic the flagella bears the flagella bears bears two or many rows of two or many rows of lateral appendages lateral appendages appendages present and terminal naked filament terminal naked filament filament present this is called as pantachronematic the flagella bears two or many rows of lateral appendages and the terminal naked filament is present that is called as pantachronematic examples arsialis arsialis next a nematic so it is also called as simple nematic the flagella not bear the any lateral appendages and the terminal naked filament is absent that is called as a nematic both both lateral appendages lateral appendages appendages and terminal terminal naked filament naked filament absent filament absent that is called as a nematic or simple nematic okay once again i repeat types of flagella based on the arrangement of the lateral appendages it is divided in five types stichonematic pantonematic acronematic pantachronematic and anematic or simple nematic first of all stichonematic 
the flagella bears one row of the lateral appendages that is called as trichonematic example euglena and astacia and second one pantanematic the flagella bears two or many rows of the lateral appendages that is called as pantanematic example peranema monas so see here this is the flagella outer sheath and the lateral appendages having two or many rows two or many rows so this is called as pantanematic acronematic acronematic so this is flagella outer sheath it's not having any lateral appendages but the terminal end the terminal end it is the naked filament that is called as acronematic pantachronematic the flagellum bs two or many rows of the lateral appendages the flagellum bs two or many rows of the lateral appendages two or many rows of the lateral appendages and the terminal end it is in terminal end naked terminal end is present that is called as pantachronematic a nematic means the flagella it's not having any lateral appendages and terminal naked filament is absent that is called as a nematic and simple nematic so the examples of a nematic kylomonas and cryptomonas cryptomonas kylomonas and cryptomonas okay so this is very important in ip as well as mset also so very very important of examples of uh, types of flagella very very important so we are remember the examples of types of flagella are giving the quotes see observe trichonematic the code is s e a trichonematic euglena ostacea and second one the second one pantanematic the code is p m p m so peranema monas and the third one is a c p a c p acronematic clamidomonas and polytoma so panda chronematic single one arcialis and anematic the code is anematic the code is a c c so these are the codes of types of flagella thank you